so here we are. It's what's the date today? Today is the 20th of, 20th of May. 20th of May. We're at 5DB Studios with Alejandro, Jan, Lucas, and Javi, who will appear in a minute. And 50 years later, I'm trying to, they're helping me come up with what would be the state of the art guitar rig for me uh, to go on these um, arena gigs. And okay, so 50 years ago, I started with uh, a high watt amp, uh, Pete Cornish pedal board, uh, a Revox tape recorder with um, cell sync and uh, the ability to change the speed of the Revoxes with de pedals, which were specially converted, all done by this company called Taylor Hutchinson. So both me and Eno had these things. So that was my first setup. Then when Eno left, I wanted to have those Eno treatment sounds. So uh, the people who made the VCS3 synthesized Mesa guitar module versions of that again, which I controlled with the de pedals that go up and down and sideways. So controlling the filters and oscillators and things. And then gradually I got rid of all that and ended up with a system which was a Fender amp and the Peak Cornish pedal box. And as they gradually invented things like Space Echo and stuff like that, I integrated those into my live rig. I had a Strobo tuner um, for tuning. And uh, by the time I got to the Avalon tour, it was um, an amp from America, actually, I can't remember what it's called. It's been in there for some project. Um, it was a lab, lab what? series. Well, no, I did use a lab series at some point, but not on the Roxy tours. I think. I mean, I may. Have, I tell. Oh, I tell you what, I did use on eight hundred one was for the eight hundred one gigs. I had the the Yamaha Leslie that's here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. And the top of that. And, and uh, funny enough, the only person I know who's got. <laughs> One of those David Gilmore, who obviously used one at the time. But they're a huge thing to do. Like a, like a fridge. <laughs> like a fridge, yeah, exactly. Well, it's pretty much the size of a Leslie. Exactly. It's probably heavier than a Leslie. Yeah. So, 2001, I did what I'm doing today, and I ended up with uh, Roland Ready strats that they had just invented this Roland Ready system. Where, um, so, that was a state of the art. Uh, then and so that had a lot of amazing features on it and then gradually uh, that went by the board and then I what was it I was using 11 racks the 11 racks yeah yeah the, the 11 yeah. racks, yeah. Bit, 11 racks. Amazing, you yeah those were great for a bit and then here we are so here we are and so we've got a whole range of pedals and uh, with what we're trying today basically is seeing if a system that goes into a speaker in a box will work um, that can be put uh, at the back of the stage and also a small amp on stage uh, run through an attenuator probably but we'll, we'll see and um, so that basically there's a bit of a quiet stage so that um, the person mixing the sound can get enough level on the vocal mics, in particular Brian's vocal mic, so he doesn't have a lot of guitar going into, into his mic. So, right, we're going to start. I'm just using a Strat today, and there's an enormous amount of pedals here. Okay, guys, so just ru let's run me through some of the things we're going to do. So... More 